Finishing touches. Lesson one. Creating a screensaver. A screensaver, or a tractor screen, will display on the gallery wide screen if the system has been idle for more than the chosen time delay. These screensavers can be either PowerPoint files, flash files, or Windows screensavers, .scrs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build and customize your own screensavers on PowerPoint. First, open PowerPoint and go to the Design tab and click on Page Setup. Change the size from 4.3 to 16.9 if you are using a widescreen. Next, click on the Insert tab and click on Picture. Find the picture you want to insert as your background and click OK. Next, I'm just going to crop and reposition it so it's in the right place. Zoom out by holding control and scrolling with your mouse. Alternatively, there is a zoom bar in the bottom right hand of the screen. Next, go to the insert tab and select text box. Create your text box to the left of the document and type in your text. You're going to want to get it all on one line and make sure it's not on the actual PowerPoint itself. Next, click on the Animations tab and select Fly In. Then click on Effect Options and select From Right. Next, click on the Animation pane. On the drop down arrow, next to the animation we just created, Select Start with Previous, then click on Effect Options and click on the Timing tab. Set the duration to 7 seconds. And under Repeat, select until end of slide. Now save your PowerPoint. To use it as the screensaver, open the Content Manager. In the Folder Wide Settings tab, look at the Attractor Screens box and click Add Another. Find your PowerPoint and click Open. Now right click on the newly appeared PowerPoint and left click Set as Active. You can also do this in the Gallery Wide screen as well as change its timeout period.